We're just a few months into 2024, and archaeology has already made some amazing discoveries. In today's video, we'll take you through some of the most incredible finds. We've got everything from hidden underwater treasures to bone-crafted jewelry that's over 12,000 years old and alien metal dating from one million years ago. Here's what the archaeologists have discovered just in February. Let's start with the underwater stone wall found in the Baltic Sea near Germany. The wall was built around 11,000 years ago for hunting reindeer when the location was dry land, a new study indicates. The researchers propose that local prehistoric people built the wall. Its remaining parts were crafted from 1,670 stones and extended about two-thirds of a mile long, stands three feet tall and are 6.5 feet wide. The team discovered the wall via sonar and divers to the location, which is at a depth of around 70 feet and approximately six miles east of Rerich, Germany, in the Bay of Mecklenburg. Yes, the intriguing part. The wall may be the largest of its kind from the early Holocene, 11,700 years ago to present, in Europe. Based on similar prehistoric walls, as well as the ancient desert kites found in the Middle East, the author proposes that it was built on dry land by hunter-gatherers to drive wild animal herds into corrals where they could be killed, rather than being a natural feature of a now-submerged landscape. They also suggest that the wall in the Bay of Mecklenburg was used to hunt reindeer, which at that time were better known as Rangifer tarandus, a common species in that part of Europe. Scientists detected the wall by accident in 2021 during a boat trip into the Bay of Mecklenburg to teach marine geophysical techniques to students. It was a bit out the blue, added Jakob Gerson, a marine geophysicist at Kiel University in Germany. We did not look for the structure because we did not know it was there, but we resolved it on the seafloor from our multi-beam echo sounder data. Researchers have now mapped the wall by diving to different sites along its length and using sonar equipment on boats and on an autonomous underwater vehicle. Next up are the ancient treasures from Spain, which revealed artifacts containing alien metals. Scientists recently discovered a collection of gold found in Spain decades ago was made with alien metals. The Treasures of Vilana is a set of 59 gold-plated objects found in 1963 in southeastern Spain. It was discovered by a team led by archaeologist Jose Marina Sola when they were excavating a dry riverbed called Rembla del Panadero, located three miles north of the city of Vilana. Upon examination of the gold objects, meteoric iron was found in two pieces of jewelry. The meteoric iron is an early universe protoplanetary disc remnant found in meteorites composed of iron and nickel. The astonishing part is that, according to the analysts, the gold-coated cap and the C-shaped bracelet contained extraterrestrial materials from a meteor that crashed into Earth one million years ago, as per the team's estimates. The cap is made of 5.5% of the meteoric iron, opposed to the bracelet containing just 2.8% roughly 90% of the treasures of Valena collection were reportedly made up of 23.5 carat gold and includes 11 bowls, 3 bottles and 28 bracelets. The treasures are now stored at the city's Museum of Archaeology, allowing the new analysis that uncovered the alien metals. Researchers highlighted that, because they came from outer space, they are composed of iron-nickel alloy with a variable nickel composition greater than 5% by weight. Meanwhile, the study's senior author, Ignacio Montero Ruiz, a researcher at Spain's Institute of History, said that iron technology is completely different from the copper-based metallurgy and the noble metals, gold and silver. So people who started to work with meteoritic iron and later with terrestrial iron must have had to innovate and develop new technology. However, he added, the levels of nickel in terrestrial iron are often low or very low and difficult to detect. In Somalia early this year, geologists also found two alien minerals unknown to Earth in a small 2.5-ounce fragment of the 15,000-kilogram fallen comet known as the El Ali meteorite. Chris Hurd, curator and professor in the Department of Earth and Atmospheric Sciences at the University of Alberta, termed one of the alien deposits Elanite after the meteorite. The other he named Elkins Tantonite, after Professor Lindy Elkins Tanto, the Vice President of the Interplanetary Initiative at Arizona State University. Whenever you find a new mineral, it means that the actual geological conditions, the chemistry of the rock, was different than what's been found before. That's what makes this exciting. In this particular meteorite, you have two officially described minerals that are new to science, Heard stated. Now, for those that like vintage fashion, 
Let's take a look at the 12,940-year-old bone bead found in Wyoming. Archaeology professor Todd Surivel from the University of Wyoming and his team have made an exciting discovery at the La Prella Mammoth site in Converse County. They found a tube-shaped bead made of bone that dates back around 12,940 years. It is the oldest known bead in the Americas. The bead measures around 7 millimeters in length with an internal diameter of around 1.6 millimeters. At first, the research team considered the possibility that the bead could have been formed through carnivore consumption and digestion, but this was unlikely as carnivores were rare at the site. The artifact was close to a broad collection of other cultural items, suggesting human involvement. Additionally, the grooves outside of the bead indicate human craftsmanship possibly made using stones or teeth. Ancient people probably used beads like this to adorn their bodies or clothing, providing valuable insights into their cultural practices and way of life. In order to discover the origin of the bone bead, scientists used a method called ZOO-MS that inspects collagen taken from the bone. This analysis shows that the bead was made from either a metapodial or a proximal phalanx bone of a hare, marking the first concrete evidence of a hare used during the Crovis period, which dates back around 12,000 years. This period is named after the Crovis archaeologist site in New Mexico, known for distinctive stone tools found there. Scientists added, while the use of hair bones to manufacture bees was a common practice in western North Africa during the Holocene, its origins can now be traced back to at least the terminal Pleistocene. And jumping back into the water, the mystery surrounding a Bronze Age shipwreck has finally been solved shedding light on the curious absence of structural remains like wood fragments typically associated with such discoveries. Instead, the wreckage consists only of copper bars strewn across the seabed, giving clues to the vessel's ill-fated journey. Underwater surveys conducted by the Nicholas Copernicus University in Turin reveal that the ship, believed to have been departing from the Bay of Antalya into the open sea, met a tragic end, likely crashing with rocks and sinking rapidly resulting in the heavy cargo of copper bars spilling along the submerged slope, scattering at various depths. Some bars lie at a depth of 35 meters, while others are located deeper at 50 meters, hinting at the size of the vessel's dispersal. The dive team speculates that additional cargo may be situated at even greater depths. So far, the discovery includes fragments of bronze vessels and 30 copper bars intended for bronze production. The lack of physical evidence of the ship is attributed to the voracious appetite of shipworms, which rapidly consume any exposed wooden parts in saltwater environments. This vessel is believed to be the oldest known example of transporting copper bars, placing its origins around 1500 BC. This finding provides valuable insights into ancient maritime trade routes and the importance of copper in Bronze Age commerce. Today we highlighted incredible archaeological finds of February 2024, uncovering everything from the submerged hunting wall in the Baltic Sea to treasures in Spain with a touch of the cosmos and the oldest bead that's making history. Given these amazing discoveries in February, you've got to wonder what's next? What hidden gems will the month of March bring? Don't miss out on our monthly news videos where we talk about the most exciting finds in primitive history.